In this video, I'm going to show you the best settings for your GoPro Hero 5 session. These settings will give you the best quality footage in all scenarios. So fire up your GoPro, connect to your phone, and let's get going. Resolution is how much detail the camera will record. It's what we know as recording quality. The higher the resolution, the more detail the image will have. But at its highest resolution, 4K, the session has a few limitations. So let's set it to 2.7K. The reason I don't use 4K on this session is because it doesn't support image stabilization. The session's inbuilt stabilization does a very good job at fixing shaky video without losing any quality. Frames per second is how smooth the motion in your video appears. When recording at 2.7K, stabilization is only supported in 30 frames per second. If you want to record slow motion footage with image stabilization, then you've got to drop down to 1080p resolution, and then you can film at 60 or 90 frames a second. I always set the field of view to linear because wide gives the video an unprofessional looking fisheye effect. Use linear unless you specifically want that fisheye effect and the wider shot possible. Turn on video stabilization so you get the most stable shot possible. For spot meter on the GoPro, set the exposure of the video based on a small part of the center of the frame, rather than the whole frame. Always leave this off unless you have a reason to turn it on. And don't be scared of ProTune. It's really simple to understand and just turning ProTune on alone gives you a bump in the bitrate the video is recording at. The higher the bitrate, the bigger the file size and the higher quality your video will be. White balance sets the color temperature of your video. The lower the number, the bluer and the colder your footage will look. The higher the number, the yellower and the warmer it'll look. Auto does a great job of setting this, so just leave it as it is. If you want to adjust the colors of your video manually later, make sure you choose flat color. Use GoPro color if you want that vibrant GoPro look without having to get complicated adjusting the colors later in editing. A higher ISO limit will result in brighter footage, but it introduces a lot of noise to your video. GoPros are really bad for recording video at night. The lens is just too small to capture clear night shots. So set this to 800. This will result in darker footage at night, but you'll have less noise. It's a trade-off, but you can always increase the brightness and introduce that terrible noise back in and editing if you have to. The exposure compensation, this adjusts the exposure of the video. Just leave it at zero. Leave sharpness on high, Leave auto rotation on so if you mount the camera upside down it'll flip the video for you. When you press the shutter button on your camera you want it to go straight into video mode so set it to video. The language and voice control language are pretty self-explanatory. I always turn off the LED blinking. I find it annoying and when people see a blinking red light they know they're being filmed and they become more nervous on camera. I also have the beeps on high so when I'm recording say with my camera attached to a motorcycle helmet, I can hear that it's recording and I can hear when it stops recording because I can't see the screen obviously. And for video format, set it to NTSC. If you set it to PAL, it'll only record at 25 frames a second instead of 30. And that's it, you're all ready to record steady and high quality video.